All right, let's take a seat. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. Um. Let's describe the kidnappers. There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much, but I remember they called me the backup. So yeah. we're talking a small team, professionals, the kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. What else can you tell me? Let's describe Vault, we were in of vault 111. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. It's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. Yeah. Anything else you remember? <sighs> I don't know if I want to describe the murder. My wife was murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean and they they just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. That is a good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? would be taking on all of his care and a baby needs a lot of it well, that confirms it this isn't a random kidnapping whoever took your kid had an agenda hmm. there's a lot of groups in the commonwealth that take people raiders super mutants the gunners and of course there's the institute what is this the institute so you think this institute is responsible well they're the boogeymen of the commonwealth Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Hmm. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. I can see that. What about finding Sean? That's, uh... Um... If we get back... Well, finding Sean seems like progressing the conversation. So let's see if he doesn't know anything, really. You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's <laughs> not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Probably. I know he's one of them. Either so way, finding Sean? I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. How Let's am I going to take care of this child in like. post-apocalyptic Boston? What did he say? Let's describe their outfits. The woman was dressed in, um, I think it was a kind of hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? Bald and scarred. One remember that right face. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? No. I don't remember. Kellogg? Who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy hmm. with him was around 10 years old. He 
He's in town. You said he lives here. He's still. In we don't town. know how long they we were out. Vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right, but that house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. Well, that was weird. We can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. All right, let's go. I need to heal. Really? Thought I was stuck for a second. I got so scared. Ready. I didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance, bad news. Like what? He's more than just a mercenary, he's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. More than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. I guess not. This place reminds me of the, uh... Place from Fallout 3. What was it called? Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? What was it called? Megaton! Because it had a bomb right where that chapel would be. That's one heck of a lock. Something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Don't think I can pick this. Are you serious? No luck? You need to find the key. Why don't you let me try? See that platform in the distance? Near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Okay. I'll do what I can. Where is it that you want me to go, though, exactly? Mayor. This way. There we go. Why don't my other companions just teleport like the dog did? Oh, hey, Piper. To the press? I bet if I said I was with the Institute, he'd come running. Do you ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey? Maybe shout a little less? Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? I need a key. You first. What are you doing here, Piper? Nuh-uh. Not until it's in print. You can read all about it in the next issue. Need to work on my it's skills. I'm crowding the reception area, Miss Piper. The mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? Yeah. Let me see the mayor. So I can just head in and talk to McDonough? Go right ahead. His office is open. He likes to make time for everyone when he can. Okay. Thanks. No funny business around the mayor. Got it. Shut up, I'll do what I want.
Is this the mayor's office? Mayor? Hi. This is the thing that we're... Yeah, see? This is the thing that we need to rebuild. Sorry. Ah, yes. I remember you. Our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? Um... What would make him give me the keys? Kellogg's house. A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reasons you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. Huh. He's a kidnapper. Please, Mayor McDonald. I gotta try. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. I see. I'm sorry, but... However horrible the crimes this Mr. Kellogg may have committed, your word alone isn't hard evidence. So that's it? You're not going to help? Security is part of what keeps Diamond City above the petty squabbles Shh. and misfortunes. I'm going to punch you strong. Wealth. I can't betray that for anything. What about 250 caps? You have rules. Maybe for the right amount, you can bend them a bit. What? How dare you? I'm the mayor, for God's sake, not some thug for hire. Thanks for nothing. Fine. Thanks for nothing. I know it's disappointing, but I have to think of all the people of Diamond City, not just the needs of one person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wish you would walk out of here so I can steal your giddy up buttercup. What do I talk to her about? Hey, Geneva. Did you need something else? Who do I talk to if I need to find a key to a house that's been locked up? If you're talking about a property that the city has seized, we only have one on the books. Mr. Kellogg's old house. Hmm. You'd have to ask the mayor directly if you want the keys. Come on. Can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? Trying to find my son. Please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. I've heard the sob stories before, so save them. Fine. Maybe we can reach an agreement? I just happen to have a pile of caps here. A gift? For me? Oh, how generous. Oh, there I go again, leaving a key out on my desk and forgetting to put it back. Okay, so I guess I'll just go to your desk. Good human. Just take what need, not waste time. Cool. I was hidden and I stole it. Hmm. Wow, look at his keys. What's that button do? Probably calls all the security. Like, nobody's over here, so I can just steal stuff, but... Nothing really good to take. 
Come on, strong. Wow, this used to be a stadium, I see. Security. Good work. I don't know why we let Valentine live in my city. Hey, what's up, buddy? I got the key. Got the key? All right, let's head in. You do the honor. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Hmm. I'll search everything. Place seems small to you. Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. No. Uh, nothing Some here. Dirty corn. Did you check out that desk. Handcuffs. Gold plated flip lighter, I'll take that. I'm telling you, something's not right. Look for anything out of sorts. Switch. But I know, right? Like this should open. There we go. Hmm. Nice. Two more. Whole bunch of stuff. Nice. Look at this. I don't want that dirty water. All of a Merc's favorite things. Nice. 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 Awesome. Take that iguana soup. Take that pork and beans. Take it all. Take that pack of cigarettes too. You can sell those. Stim packs. Cigars. Gwinnett Stout beer. 44 caliber bullets. And cigars. San Francisco, San Francisco Sunlights. Sunlights. Mm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. 44 round. Nice. Huh. Use dog meat? I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Huh. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can That's his name, dog miles. meat. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. We can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. Yeah, we can. Come with me. I want you with me on this, Nick. Uh all right. Let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. All right. So what are we doing? Leaving? There you are. 
Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Got something, boy? Okay. Following you. You keep that synth freak at arm's length. You understand? You me? keep your mouth at arm's length, you hear me? Read the public and be prepared. So many humans. Not many super mutant. All we gotta do is follow our dog. I wonder how far he's gonna take us. Alien blasters in this. What's the gamma gun? Fires gamma rays? I mean, I like you strong, but you're an idiot, so... So what? Um, uh, I, uh, I wasn't prepared for that question. So, I'm gonna go ahead and be with Dogmeat right now. And let Dogmeat show me where this person is. He must have. San Francisco sunlights. I'm telling you, Kellogg's God knows prefer a brand on second to none. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? Cool. And I like that you're not sprinting off because you know I can't run that fast. It's really good, dog. Meat. And I'm glad that the game gave the dog a name because DD2 wasn't really working out. I want to search those containers. There's probably nothing. Whoa, 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 we're being ambushed. I don't want to use this on them. Oh, wow. A glowing mole rat. That's a new enemy type. Oh, I just have no aim. I just have none. Good job, Dogmi. Really good job, Dogmi. And dog meat is his name. -o. Gotta search it. I have to. Nothing. What do you got for me? Hmm. Power relay coil. It looks like another one of Kellogg's pit stops. Hmm. Keep your eyes open. What's up? What's up, puppy? Is that him? Lost the scent, boy. Well, I'm gonna need you to move. I'm gonna need you to move a little bit, dog. 
bloody bandages. Dogmeat can track this. That nose is second to none. Track it. Track it, Dogmeat. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? Alright, let's go. Stem pack. Don't run too far. Hmm. It's pretty for post-apocalyptic. I mean, it would be horrible to actually be seeing this, but... Good job. We were getting along. Just don't run us into anything too dangerous. What did I just say? Okay, how many uh, purified waters do we got? We should be good. Health is going down a little by little. Here we go. What do you got for me? Some meat in your hide? Okay. That should be it. Dramatic music just went on a little too long. Now we're back to normal music. Let me check this out. I saw stairs. I didn't mean to do that. Oh no. I'm sorry, lady. I'm real sorry. I think we're good. There's nothing in here. Makeshift battery. Don't need it. But what I do need is to level up and see if I can level up my strength and carrying abilities. Yep, there we go. Alright, now I can carry more stuff. 250 just an even even number